a, it's not a good feeling what he did and everything was a, exposed what he did. You know, it's just, it's not right, you know. Forcing us, it's forced us out of town, forced us out of business. You know, crushed us right now. On Friday, I brought you new corruption allegations in our widening investigation of the Union Beach Police Department and its chief, Charles Irvin. A filing made by lawyers for Tom and Gina Plinio, owners of the bar UB Social, details what they say was police harassment and attempts by the town to make the Plinios pay for cops who were on duty. When you opened one of those invoices, did it feel like a shakedown? A hundred percent. These attorneys for the Plinios are planning a lawsuit with damages of at least a million dollars. And they say that being charged the $60 hourly rate for cops who were on duty and therefore already getting a salary from taxpayers is part of what broke the back of their now closed business. In an exclusive interview with us, the Plinios tell their side of the story, how it all began and how it went wrong. When the bar opened in 2015, all seemed to be going well. Business was booming and they were building a customer base. People were coming out, fire department, police officers would come in, you know, eat and then uh, drink and have a good night with us. But noise from their outdoor bar and smokers who would talk outside led to complaints from neighbors. And that meant the conditions were put on their liquor license when it was renewed in June of 2016. But I did the best I could. Like in New Jersey, you have to smoke outside. Things got worse, the Plinios said, when what were supposed to be off-duty officers stationed outside the bar Friday and Saturday nights actually appeared to be cops on duty and harassing potential customers. There was invoices um, stating that he was there from the whole night. He was never there for the whole night. I actually took notes. You know, I'd, a police officer arrived at 10.30, 10.45, he leaves. The Plinio's attorneys say that the off-duty pay was illegally being used as a reward for on-duty officers making DUI stops of UB Social customers. According to pay records we obtained, multiple Union Beach officers were paid by the town for the supposed off-duty work, and the invoices were sent to the Plinio's for reimbursement. But the Plinios refused to pay those bills as they were suspicious of the arrangement. All they kept doing was standing in the area, coming by, harassing every Some customer I left the bar. Show up. My father's retired deputy police, you know, chief, he was in Newark. And that every day I see my father put his uniform on and go to work. I respect the police, you know, that's yeah. something that, you know, I grew up on. I gotta ask this straight up, you know, maybe we don't know yet, but do you think that what happened to you, this whole situation, do you think you're victims of corruption? Definitely. Union Beach's mayor, Paul Smith, has said he couldn't discuss this situation because of the pending lawsuit. He called the Plinios good people and said the town has hired a special counsel to look into their allegations, apart from borough attorney John T. Lane, who was also the municipal prosecutor. Chief Irvin could not be reached for comment. I think they had an agenda against us. You know, that's what I really think, you know. For what reason? There is no reason. Now to support their two young children, Tom and Gina Plinio spend their days working at Gina's parents' restaurant, waiting tables, bar backing like the old days. Their dreams of successful business in Union Beach, gone. It's not just the chief, it's the whole borough, the whole, whole Union Beach we want held responsible for. You know, that's what we want. What it's not just for, just the for chief. our losses, yeah. for what we lost. Yeah. We, we lost everything. Yeah.